What's up everyone? All right, so here we are Monday morning up $2,600, a green day. That's exactly what I wanted. And you know what? As of right now, I have no idea where I'm at on the month and it's a pretty cool feeling. You guys probably know, those of you who've been watching for a while, you know, I'm usually pulling out my calendar and I'm like, you know, writing down where I'm at on the day and I'm no to the penny where I'm at on the month, where I'm at relative to this, you know, $583 to $1 million challenge. And right now I'm just, I'm trading for trading. I'm not thinking, I mean, I'm trying as much as I can not to think about where I'm at on the month, where I'm at on the week. You know, I'm, I, I know relatively that I'm green on the month, probably somewhere around 17,000, but I don't know to the penny. I'm not thinking about it too much. I'm just really focusing on being a good trader and letting each day stand on its own as being a day where I followed the rules. I was disciplined. I didn't over trade. I didn't take high risk trades. I traded the best and I left everything else to just sit on the side. And today I did it. I traded two stocks, green on both of them, which is terrific. So 100% accuracy today, uh, as far as you know, the stocks I traded is concerned. And you know, live to trade another day. So it's one of these things with trading that it can sometimes feel so stressful, but it's totally created by myself. I put all this pressure on myself to hit these big monthly goals or create these, you know, have this big challenge and all this stuff. And, and you don't have to do that. You can just come in each day, trade, try to make some money, and then, you know, go enjoy the rest of your day. You know, right now it's um, 11 a.m. and I'm done and I'm up $2,600. You know, I could just go and enjoy the entire rest of the day. Now, unfortunately, it's raining outside and I've got a bunch of work to do, but, you know, in theory, got the rest of the day in front of me and that's a pretty cool feeling so anyways you know it's kind of a couple of thoughts that are going through my mind here right now in April as I'm just trying to have a good month where I follow the rules and I don't make big mistakes so anyways enjoy the recap today a little bit of a shorter one as always if you have questions or comments leave them below and remember tonight 7 p.m. Eastern I'm hosting a free workshop I'll be giving you guys all a free copy of my best-selling book titled how to day trade Thought I had a copy around here somewhere, but must have brought it. Oh, here it is. There we go. How to day trade. So you guys will get a copy of this book. Everyone who registers for the webinar, it's going to be a lot of fun. Those of you guys who have had questions that you know you haven't gotten full answers to, join the webinar. We're going to have Q and A and everything else. So get those questions answered. All right. So you guys tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern. And everyone else, first thing tomorrow morning, 9:15, live streaming pre-market analysis. All right, there we go. That's how I'm going to finish the morning. Up $2,621, which is um, a pretty good morning. So another day hitting the daily goal, which is uh, terrific. You know, we are in the market, I would say, the last three days where momentum has been um, pretty slow. We haven't seen nearly as much staying power as, as I was hoping for. Uh, BMRA, this is one that was called out in the room uh, this morning, made 350 bucks on it. Uh, made this squeeze from 380 all the way up to 343, so a nice 60 cent squeeze. Uh, but it wasn't able to hold that level. Ended up coming back down to the VWAP, consolidating. Uh, it curled back up a little bit right here, but you know, just not enough for me to get any action. VTL super active today, but below the one dollar price range. So that's not one that I like to go for. I left that one alone. Um, so you know, nothing on that. And then uh, SRAX ended up giving kind of a surprise move, I guess. We had this five-minute setup that was already forming right here. And then right at 10 a.m., uh, news came out. There's a headline that, that came up on the news feed right here at 10 a.m. So it's kind of like a perfectly timed headline. It's not um, totally uncommon to see that type of thing, just like headline just right at the right spot at the right time and um, 11 million plus growth surge in global registered users on Android, iOS, etc. So anyways, jumped in at 450, got a partial fill of 2,000 shares, squeezes up to 484, ends up hitting a high of 528 and from that started with 2,000 shares, I added, got myself up to uh, 6,000 shares and ended up finishing up uh, $2,264.93 on SRACs. 
and that was the one. That was the one good opportunity for me today. ZYNE, you know, this one gave um, a couple opportunities here on this pullback, but I didn't trade it. Being a little higher priced, a stock that I typically haven't done as well on, um, it's all tied in the marijuana uh, sector, so those ones can kind of be a little irrational right now. But yeah, going back to SRACs, that was the, the big one today. So if we go back here and look at this one minute chart, um, you know, it's kind of interesting. I'll actually go down to like a, a 10 second chart. This had like five minutes of strong momentum and then it was gone. Um, so if we look at the 10 second chart on this, go back here. So I jumped in right here on this candle as it broke the half dollar of 450 and squeezed up to a high of 470. It then does this little consolidation, as you can see here, under 470, uh, right under 470. It breaks that level, and I added back at 68 for the break of that level, and it squeezes up to a high of five dollars. It then goes sideways, and I added for the break of five, and then that's where we got the move up to a high of 528. So 528 was the high on this one, and you know, overall, um, the trade was was not bad. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't the easiest one I've ever had, but um, you know, a little scalp, it ended up working. So the way I traded this was I jumped in at 450, I sold um, half my position at 468, booked a little bit of profit, and of course at that point I was only up 350 dollars on the day. So I was like, hey, if I can even hit a 500 dollar green day. I'll be happy with that. 2,000 shares from 450 to 470 is 400 bucks. So, you know, I'm going to take half of it off the table. So $200 there, and then added back right here for the break of 70. It breaks 70. I'm selling half at 78 on this little pullback. It ends up opening up, going up to five. That's great. That's what I wanted to see. Took a little profit. Big seller at five. It dips back down to 478. Surges back up. Breaks through five. I add for the break of five. We get a move here up to 520, pulls back, breaks 520, goes to 528. That was the high, and then it gave it all back. And that's kind of the disappointing thing, and, and that's when I was like, you know what, I'm done for the day. Uh, this is not going to, you know, this doesn't bode well for momentum today when you have a stock, uh, you know, as, as nice as this, that with a headline and everything else that just totally fails. So disappointing there that we didn't get better follow-through. Um, you know, at this point, this one's definitely out of play. BMRA didn't, has not yet made new highs, although, of course, the longer it consolidates here, I suppose the better it looks for, for a move back up, but um, generally just um, not into this one. So leaving it alone, um, let's see, let me just, there we go. Um, and, and yeah, that's, that's about it for me today. So nice little rebound here, solid green day, anything above 2000, you know, $2,000 is my daily goal. So hitting the daily goal here in the first hour of the day, and now I can spend, um, you know, the rest of the day in theory doing whatever I want. You know, I mean, that's kind of the, the dream of being a trader. You trade for an hour a day, spend the rest of the day doing your thing. The futures room is open. Those of you guys that want to check out Steve, um, you're welcome to jump into the futures room. He's uh, up and running right now, and he's trading the evenings as well. So he'll be back between 9 o'clock and 11 o'clock this evening trading in the futures room. So um, those of you guys that want to get a piece of that action, you can switch over there. I'm not really sure what happened in the large cap room, but uh, for small caps today, we started with having a scanner with nothing on it. Scanner was totally dead. And we kind of had to work with uh, just the high day momentum scanner, but we worked with it, got nice trades on SRAC, small little trade on BMRA, and found the daily goal. So, you know, can't complain about that at all. And again, uh, this evening, 7 p.m. Eastern, I'm going to be hosting a free workshop, which is going to be a lot of fun. So those of you guys who have just been kind of at the very beginning of your learning curve, very beginning of the journey, wanting to learn more about how to capture this profit, how to be an active trader. would love for you guys to register and um, show up. So 7 p.m. Eastern tonight. And uh, between now and then, I'm going to get a little bit of work done. I'm going to have a little bit of a mentor session with Ted. Try to keep my, you know, 
head of the game here as I'm working on this uh, big $583 to $1 million dollar challenge and see if I can uh, stay focused here through the month of April. So really trying to stay on top of that. I'm uh, you know, in a place where I didn't expect this last 5% would be the hardest part of the whole challenge, but um, that's exactly what it's been. So just you know, trying to um, take it one day at a time and Today was another green day, so try to, you know, just feel good about that. All right, so that's it for me. I'll see you guys uh, first thing tomorrow morning, and those of you guys who register for the webinar, I will see you tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern. All right, see you guys later. If you're still watching, you must have really enjoyed that video. So why not subscribe and get email alerts anytime I upload new content? Remember, when you subscribe, you become a member of the Warrior Trading family.